Well, here at the entrance to the studio is the wet sink with a uh, glass scrub board that I use for cleaning brushes and uh, Fells naphtha soap. And there's a little display of uh, some fun frames that I've collected and framed paintings and a, a couple of empty frames, about maybe four or five empty frames. The rest of them are all full. Every studio's got to have a fireproof garbage can. There's my studio pal. Oh, you're so good. And a painting that I still want to do more work to. Here's a flat file for uh, flat storage. I've got a cutting board mounted on a drawing board on top of it. But also I flip down this blanket and I use it for uh, dealing with frames. That's another large painting that I want to do more work to. And then um, I have a uh, little display where paintings that I've been working on and uh, they're drying, flat panels. Um, they uh, hang out while I get to look at them and easy to put up and take down. The chair that I sit in has a logo from the uh, Art Students League of New York where I went to school a long time ago in Latin, but it means never a day without a line. If you can pardon all the wires, this is uh, a roll around uh, computer tray computer station that uh, I got at uh, a uh, sale from a hospital that was moving to a new location. It rises and lowers about 18 inches if I uh, lift it up. You can see. And it goes back down. That's pretty heavy. And next to it, this is my, um, my easel. And there too, it used to have a crank on it. What I did was I put uh, I put some uh, pulleys that uh, make it easy to raise and lower, and that's uh, pretty helpful. I attached something to it. This is a an armature that I got from a guy in Russia, and uh, what it does is it acts as a an armrest and a mall stick if you will that uh, folds out of the way I can use it one-handed so that uh, I can work like that pretty nifty thing and I just uh, fixed it to attach I have uh, one of those little carts that people use for moving furniture around and I put a paint box in it, fill the paint box with tubes of paint so I can roll it out whenever I want. Uh, and paint, I found that uh, the most useful thing for sticking brushes in while I'm working is one of these things with pockets. I have a, uh, a little stand that I can take this off. That's uh, all the colors that I use, more colors than I need. But uh, up above that is my uh, handheld palette, which uh, I can pick up like that. Down below I have a, a paint roller tray and I put a wire mesh on the, the end of it um, to wipe things off. but. Uh, I put some oil, linseed oil, down in it, and uh, when I want to have brushes that uh, I want to be able to use the next day, but I don't want to wash them and uh, clean them every single day, which is kind of a harsh treatment for brushes, what I do is I clean them off as best I can, then I uh, put them down in here. So they're soaking in linseed oil. It's uh, healthy for the, uh, the hairs on the brush. That's a nifty thing. Uh, there's a painting of my son from a Zoom birthday that he did, along with a bunch of small paintings that have been uh, accumulating as I've been doing all this little work. And, uh, and then there's a bunch of empty paint tubes. 
Here's one of my favorite little paintings, a du chevaux. Here's more of the uh, stored framed paintings. Some of them are unframed. I have uh, drawers in this thing that are full of brushes. For some reason, I, I got all excited about having a brush collection a long, long time ago. And I've put together quite the, quite the resource. This, by the way, <clears throat> this drawer has a little container <clears throat> right there with clove oil in it. And uh, this is where I put that, uh, that little palette this thing. I put that in there and closed the drawer and that uh, clove oil is an antioxidant. That's uh, a pretty sloppily uh, draped um, skylight but it's four by eight feet and it works really well. I like painting under that. Variable light. This is a mirror that I have uh, behind the chair and I use that to uh, I turn around and I look at the painting I'm working on in the reverse mirror image so that I can see it a little bit more freshly.